Wow. This. This is what you call an uppercut. That's an uppercut, y'all. God, dog. But I wonder, was Alistair Overeem's chin good enough to take such an uppercut? Stay tuned. Satisfaction for your listening or your leisure. Try to troll the coach and you will end up in a seizure. But taint upon your brain, you just don't take the plane back. That this the LDBC, you don't tell us how to act. And if you hate the content, then take a step back. Why watch the video? How you gonna explain that? How? How? How you gonna explain that? How? How? How you gonna explain that? Coach Shelton Harrison, there never be no comparison. You live on the show, sit back and have a listen. And that's just the way that is. The way that is. All right, all right, LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison, you're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, I had to talk about this one, okay, I had to. I don't cover the men very much, man, but this was a knockout. I'm talking about Francis Ngannou, he put Alistair Overeem to sleep. I'm talking about slept him, I'm talking about, look, Overeem toes, legs, everything stiff, man. This man got put to sleep. It wasn't even no, there's no doubt about it, man. Francis Ngannou, when he get a title shot, it's over. Whoever got that belt, whoever even thinks to want to hold that belt, they might want to throw that belt in the trash can because uh, this guy is coming, okay? This guy is straight raw, okay? And he's gotten better, man. I've covered some of his fights, man. He's gotten better over time, but dude, he caught Alistair Overeem with an uppercut. I mean, I'm talking about... Alistair Overeem got lifted off of his damn feet, y'all. Guys, I kid you not. Overeem got lifted right off of his feet. Like, I'm talking about, man, it, it was it was so bad, man. Okay, no, the dude, dude got hit about three times. Let me tell you why. He got punched one time, but got, got damaged three times. Okay, he got hit with the uppercut that put him to sleep. Even Before he even hit the ground, he was asleep. Then he hit his head on the canvas. And then Alistair o- I'm sorry, uh, then Francis Ngannou, Got an extra shot in when he was down, man. Dude was stiff as a board. I'm talking about, man, ain't nothing even to really talk about in this fight. Like, they got a, you know, Alistair Overeem ran in there. And I'm like, man, Alistair Overeem got a knockout wish today, bud, don't he? I'm talking about, as soon as the bell rang, Alistair Overeem ran right in there. And I'm like, man, Alistair finna get hurt. But he, you know, Alistair did some good clinch work, man. Did some clinch work. But then, you saw the strength advantage, man. Francis Ngano turned that dude, man. Francis Ngannou turned him, man. And when he turned him, I said, oh, it's a wrap, man. I said, it's a wrap. Alistair Overeem couldn't do nothing with this boy. Alistair Overeem could do nothing with this boy, man. And it showed, man. It showed. I'm talking about, man, that uppercut. God, dog. Man, you know, I done played that replay back about 12 times looking at that knockout, man. That was a knockout, man. That that It was brutal. That knockout was so brutal. Look, man, I thought Alistair Overeem's soul left his body. I thought Alistair Overeem was dead. I'm talking about he took the soul out of Alistair Overeem, man. I'm talking about knocked him out so much. And then when Alistair Overeem finally, when he finally came to, I was like, I wonder if this dude know where he at, man. I wonder if he know anywhere where he at. I was like, this dude, this dude can't know where he at. I mean, they had the smelling sauce. They sitting there talking to him. Hey, man, this dude... He better not fight. He better not fight no more until 2019. I'm to my man. He knocked Alistair Overeem into 2020 with that. I mean, he hit him, man. Like God, dog, y'all. I'm still in shock. Like, dang. Alistair Overeem got knocked out, y'all. Y'all. I mean, did y'all understand? He really got knocked out. I'm to my. He got knocked into next week. I don't even know if Alistair Overeem gonna be. I don't know. I don't know if he gonna be awake next week. I think you know he just gave Alistair Overeem a vacation, a long vacation. God, dog, oh, man. I hope Alistair be okay, man. I hope he do, man, because Alistair done been in the game for a long time, man. He he might be thinking of it. It it, it probably might be in his best interest, man, to start contemplating retirement, man, because. You can only get take so many of these knockouts, man. You can only take so much of this stuff, man. But this this right here took years off of Alistair Overeem's career, man. I'm telling you. This took years off of his career. Years, okay? Years upon years. Like, 
wild, man. I just and then the way it, it was so devastating, man. Like I bet you never seen. I've seen knockouts, but man, this this guy landed it, and it just came out of nowhere, man. Like Francis Ngannou was so freaking patient, man, and he waited for Alistair Overeem to mess up. He he waited for the opening. He saw it and then he went for broke. Guys, I'm gonna be honest. I I don't think nobody in the heavyweight division can deal with this dude. I'm convinced of it. I, I don't think so. I, I think anybody that get in there with him, they going to sleep. Anybody. You going to sleep. This is a knockout artist. There's an art to it. Man, shout out to Francis Angano, man. This is your boy Coach Shelton Harris. What do you wait on? Subscribe to the best ones in my platform on YouTube.